the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And this is the works of God. That's you awesome, man. You see, when you understand this thing, you understand. Paul said, Paul said in, Phil in Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, it is God that worketh in you. God that worketh in you. Both to will uh -huh. and to do of his good pleasure. That's good. It's mm. God working in you. Mm. Not you. <laughs> That's why you can't take no credit for it. That's why you can't you can't jump up there and go to glory and in the flesh come out. Did not preach a good sermon. Shut up. You ain't preach nothing. But you have to commit <laughs> yourself to God and trust God and the Spirit of God use you. Woo. Woo. Jesus said the Father, He's the one working in me. Yes, sir. Now, if we're going to follow His pattern, if we're going to be sons of God. It is going to be necessary for the Father to be working inside of us. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. well, the Father ain't working nowhere where the Son ain't present. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, 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 and the presence, that's the Holy Spirit. So, so you see, Jesus has taken up residence inside of us. Yes. And, and listen, by the Spirit of God, who is who is in, who in Romans chapter eight is also called the Spirit of Christ. Mm. Don't get confused, now. It ain't two spirits; it's the same spirit. Same spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Paul said when he was in Christ, he was the Spirit. Of, he said, "If the Spirit of Christ be in you." Yes. So all I'm, all I'm trying to get you to understand is, is that I don't believe that faith is something that we do. I believe this faith is something that is wrought in us when we satisfy that unique criteria that God has set. So it says that faith cometh by hearing. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. hearing by the word of God. Hearing so by the, the word of God. of God is that work inside of the man that's speaking. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of God has to also be working inside of the man that's hearing. Come Amen. On. Otherwise, it wouldn't be no hearing. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus said to him that got ears to hear. Woo! Yeah. Because he understands the kind of ears I'm talking about, you didn't get them when you were born. Yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> God got to be working something in you. But, woo, God got to be doing something in order for you to hear this. Woo! Amen. Woo! So, <laughs> so everything now is God wrong. Yeah. Mm. He has to end up here what the Spirit says to the churches. God. It, it's God wrong. He's wrong. It, 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 there's nothing flesh wrong or self wrong or man wrong or human wrong. In the kingdom of God, in the kingdom that we've been called into, God is the one doing the work. Mm. Amen. And, and when he initiates a work inside of you, that that initial work is of God will produce a work through you. Wow. That's what preaching is. Preaching is a result of God working first. The first step is the Spirit of God got to work something in you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, you ain't got no business to open your mouth talking about thus said the Lord, which you all says, I'm going to tell you my opinion. Uh -huh. I believe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> when the Spirit of God is working and you stand in the pulpit and the unction is there and the presence mm -hmm. is there and the mm -hmm. Spirit of God moving is there he'll take them verses and, and begin to use you to, to preach something that will cause men to see themselves Amen You can't do that Wow You don't know what to say You, you don't have that kind of power Yes sir Yes sir but God can you listen, God can use your voice, mm. use your mouth mm. to speak his word. Mm. That's yes. what the prophet said in the Old Testament. When Isaiah and them got ready to talk, they said, Thus said the Lord. Thus says the Lord. 
They want you to understand, I didn't come up with this. I this ain't me talking now. What I'm saying with you now, the spirit of God has led me to see it, mm. has revealed it to me, and he has given me the authority to speak it. Mm. That's what we're supposed to be doing under this call upon our lives to proclaim the gospel. Amen. Amen. So I, I don't believe that I don't believe that any of this stuff uh -huh. is man raw, self raw. I believe it is all about the surrender, the the submission, the yielding to, and the understanding of the need to be used by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Let I him. don't want to get in the pulpit and try to preach nothing if the Spirit of God ain't moving. Moving. Mm -hmm. You can't get me to do that now. If I get up there now and he ain't moving, I'm going to sit down. Y'all right, well, need to get somebody else. Ah. See, see, we so prideful. Paul said in Corinthians that if, if a man is standing up and, so, and, the, and the Spirit of God reveals something to somebody else that's sitting by, let the first, let the, let the man think it. He can stop. You ain't got to keep running your mouth. You yeah. ain't the only one that the Spirit of God is dealing with. Woo! You better be sensitive and realize that God gonna show you everything. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Teach it. But you gotta be humble. And you gotta be assured. And you gotta have the confidence that if God called you, can't nobody get what God got for you? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, look, I ain't gotta be scared of gifted preaching. I wanna be around gifted preaching. I want to be around men that are anointed and gifted. I, I, I try to provoke them and encourage them because if I see God working in you, I realize I need what God done put in you. Amen. 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 So what I got ain't for me. Woo! So that mm. there be no schism in the body so that I don't get big headed and run off over the corner and say, as long as I got Jesus, I don't need nobody else. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> I need Jesus in Taylor. I need Jesus in, in Harper. I need Jesus in Hill. I need Jesus working through every member of the body. Come on now. Come on. Wow. And I want to provoke you to the prayer where the Spirit of God can use you because I know when, when that happens, I know that I'm going to be edified by it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. My life is going to be built up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see my weaknesses, my flaws, the way I'm out of line. Is. I'm gonna get convicted. I'm gonna get sore. I'm gonna be able to not sleep at night. My Woo! food gonna stop tasting good because God, you, you just speak something to me that causes me to see where I'm out of line. Mm. Mm. We need each other, and God has ordained it. So we might as well get over this big headedness and all this big shots and all. No, it's just Jesus and the rest of us. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the head. Amen. He's the head. We already got a head. We don't need Woo! to. Come on now. <laughs> so, so it's the, it, see in this parable, he's trying to he's trying to bring you to the place where you can become fruitful. Yes. Where he can use you to proclaim the gospel that he can draw other men into the kingdom and then those men can be trained in the disciples and go on to be witnesses and they can draw other men into the kingdom so you can, so that they, in the sense that we all become fruitful in that sense. Because mm. the kingdom needs souls. Yes. That God can make new creatures. Yes. First of many brothers. And so Jesus said, Jesus prayed, look, he told the disciple, pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he might send laborers into the vineyard, for the harvest is plenteous. Mm. <laughs> he ain't talking about grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't talking about wheat. He ain't talking about people. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Without me, you can do nothing. So we've been calling to this world vineyard as laboring with God mm. through the sun. He's called us into this vineyard that he might use us to proclaim the message, to preach the gospel, to witness, to live before people, to be used of him in the drawing of other men into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I always think about this. 
I wonder if when Barnabas saw the need and he went back and found Saul or Paul, said Barnabas was looking for him and found him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if he knew that when he, he, he was glad to go and get Saul or Paul, that that was going to lead to the, to the doggone conversion of, of, the, of almost the Man, whole a... Gentile world. Well, yeah. I wonder when Ananias was told to go down to State Street and lay his hands on him that he might receive his see? sight. I wonder if he understood who he, who he was laying his hands on. No, he didn't. He know who. Did he understand that this rascal right here that you scared of, I'm going to use him to save the Gentile to carry this gospel to the whole Gentile world. He did tell him that. You got an opportunity to go lay your hands on him and pray for him that he might yeah. receive his sight. They see his sight. Yeah. Hey, man. He basically said, too, is like, oh, I, I got something for this joker. He, 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 you deal with children of Israel. I want this joker to go deal with the, the world, the Gentiles. And, I, I and that's probably more person, scary than dealing with the Jews. <laughs> I wonder if the nurse in the hospital knew who, knew who Martin Luther King was going to become. When she, was, when she had him in her arm rocking him. I wonder if she knew that this man was going to be used of God to confront America about their unjust and wicked ways. Wow. Mm. My goodness. You see, that's why when you meet young people, you got to be careful because you don't never know who hand you're shaking. You don't Ooh. never know what that child going to become. You don't, wow. know what, you don't know what God got in store. You got to yeah. be careful when you're dealing with people. Mm. Mm. You, yeah, you just play your role. Look here. I wonder if the man that circumcised Jesus on that eighth day knew. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he really understood. This is the Lord of glory. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I get to circumcise him. Well, I mean, that's the same thing when, I guess you could say, that's the same thing when uh, Samuel came looking to Jesse to, to get a son. There's going to be a king of Israel. <laughs> he he looked. He, he looked. He looked at him. This must be the one right here, right here, <laughs> right here. This, this guy. This is it, right here. Oh, that ain't it. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, so in the CITC, you got to capture all of these significant, weighty matters. You, you, you got to capture the essence of all of this. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to pack it down and compact it in to a small little, a small little concise statement that really addresses everything that was said in all nine verses. Mm. Mm. You follow me? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a bigger picture. Hey, cause it's a, you, it's you, at a much higher level. I was just wondering, but it seems like everybody's uh, wrote what they wrote down. A lot of them ignore the uh, the enemy part in there. Does that does he need to be pushed to the side? Or can you say you no. went straight to eight? No, my, no, my statement captures all of it. Okay, it, it all depends on how high or level you make the statement. Mm. The statement is such a high level that it encompasses everything that Jesus said in all nine of the verses. What now? Let, let me just share something with you. Let, let me just throw something at you so you know. I have ten CIT statements. Uh huh. Let me tell you how it works. When I first get to place where I can write, where I think I got something right, I write the CIT. And then I look at it, and I think about it. I go back to the text. I re-examine the text. Go back through the process. And then I come back to the CIT again and see if I can so they, they capture everything that the text says. If it does, I revise it. But when I make the revision, I keep the old one. So I've gone through 10 revisions of my CIT. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Mm. And, and, listen, I suspect I made a revision this morning. 
I made a revision to my CRT this morning at 10.15. <laughs> I sit here looking at this text, and I was thinking about this thing, and I said, I saw some. I don't uh -huh. that in there. Uh-huh. So what I'm saying is, I think that, I think this is how it ought to be, that the more you're thinking about the text, the more you are meditating and, and turning it over and examining it and asking God, it, 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 have I captured that, that truth that you're trying to convey? I think that they don't evolve. It don't just happen. That's why I say it's a lot of legwork. Mm. This, this ain't no this ain't no easy fly by night thing, though. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm just saying, I've been doing this thing now for some years. I never find the process easy. Mm. Mm. But when I get through with the CRT, when I finally got that final version, I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> what I mean by that is, I believe I've gotten all that God can show me at this time in my life. Amen. What I need to see now is what he done show Harper. Yeah. What he done show Johnson. Yeah. What he done show Taylor. And what he done show Addison. What he done show Hill. So that we all put this thing together. When we put all these things together, we'll see. I think we have a more fuller, deeper understanding of that truth that God is trying to proclaim and reveal to us in this parable. But it's going to take all of us. That's why, that's why, that's why, any, that's why if, if, if you got people in, in, in leadership position and they're fearful of, 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 of other anointed men, you got nothing to be scared of. Amen. They, they, they've been put there to help to assist you in the work yeah. that God has called you to do. Amen. 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 I, I had a pastor when I didn't have no assurance, when I didn't have no confidence in me. He said, look, I, I said God can use you. I want to put you over the worship ministry. Get the daylights out of me. Mm, yeah, yeah. What well, are you gonna say? You to put me over the worship ministry. I don't know about what you said. He said, trust me. It's trust me. I see what God is doing. So, so these men are gifted, and if they're not fearful, they can discern the gifts that God has placed around them, and they can become begin to seek God after how to use those gifts. To build the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Because he can anoint you for a point in time anyway. So, 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 so this is, listen. So now, this Sunday, if, if you ain't got a CRT, <laughs> then, then bring a hundred dollars. Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> Let's see if he heard. Did he hear that instruction? Elder, did you? Well, okay. Let's. It doesn't matter. This Sunday, have your CIT. If you can, if, if look, do you want? If they can send it to me, Elder, we'll put it on the slides so we can post. It. <laughs> I, I thought you. I thought you was about to say send you bring your hundred dollars. <laughs> what, what I would like for you to do when I put when I when I present my CIT, I would like for you to show me something that is in the nine verses. That is not included in my CIT. Because I could have missed something. Amen. I, I ain't saying I got it perfect, but Amen. I'm saying I need the eyes and the ears and the servant of other men. I believe I've captured the essence of what those nine verses say. Mm -hmm. But you might see something that I missed. That's the beauty of this kind of a this kind of a process. Amen. That yeah. We all can hold each other accountable and assist one another. And, and, and coming to see more of what we perhaps may have missed. Mm. I realize I can only see so much now. Amen. I, you ain't no, you will never, I am not one of those people that think I see everything. <laughs> it's gonna say we know a part of the prophesied part, right? But I know what I do see. Amen, <laughs> amen. <laughs> okay, let, let's let's do that. Let's do that. And uh, if you can share it or give it, send it to him, it. Send it to me in the chat. I can post it on the slide. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Yeah you, yeah, you can post it on the slide. Yeah. We can, uh, we can all I, see it in the chat. We, can, we, can, we should be able to copy and paste it into the chat. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Hey, guys, I'm going to have to get ready to go. Well, we're going to pray out. You want to pray us out? Oh, okay. <laughs>
Well, Father, I thank you for, I just thank you for the night, Lord. I mean, the night was just so, so awesome as, as we dwell deep into your word tonight. And I just, I just thank you, men, of God that invited me. And I, and I thank you, Lord, for making time for, so I can attend. Amen. And I just thank you that the word came forth richly and powerful tonight. Ooh, we, it was just, ooh, just, 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 just great, Father. And we learned tonight about hearing. We learned tonight about the parable uh, of the Torah. And we thank you that we're going to take something away from this tonight about okay. the hearing of God, how faith works. And, and just, and we just thank you for the men of God that, that just helped, that helped me thank grow you. as a man of God. And mm. I thank you that they continue to disciple me and I continue to attend this meeting. And I know we will all grow there. Amen. And I thank you, Father. Get them safe passages away of the continue to watch over them, continue to pour in, pour your anointing into them, Father. Yes. And I just thank you that you will continue to grow us to be the men of God that you want us to be. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make Amen. us fruitful. Amen. Make us fruitful, Lord. And make us fruitful. And make us fruitful. <laughs> Amen. I enjoyed this tonight, guys. I mean, I really enjoyed this tonight. Oh yeah, cause we do pull, we pull, we go go a little rabbit trail there, there, else, but we we bring it back. I see. <laughs> Amen. You be blessed. Uh, y'all be blessed too. Y'all take right, care now. All right. Good sir. night, guys. Good night. Good night.